Good morning. I camped at the Rainbow Stream or Spring um, camp site. Um, I was on a very slopey bit. It was okay. Uh, and it was blustery windy all night. And I didn't get the greatest sleep. But I did get some sleep and I was totally warm in my bed. Uh, my plan was setting the alarm for 4.30 and start hiking by 5.30, but it was dark and I just could not get myself out of bed. Um, I got up, used the privy, got back under my blankets and just started preparing my food for the day and packing, but I did not start hiking till seven o'clock. I've done two and a half miles. I have just under nine miles to a ball bridge where the kiosk is for us to sign up for the birches or a park ranger find you a spot. If the birches are full, the birches um, is a shelter that has, that hosts 12 hikers, three hikers um, a night. And they rarely fill up, but there are a bunch of people planning to summit tomorrow. So, and when it gets full up, sometimes it's full at 7 a.m. when the list goes up. <laughs> like people are there waiting to sign up. So I'm just gonna be hopeful that the park ranger is gonna find me a place to camp um, so that I can summit Katahdin tomorrow. And that's the plan. Yeah, my husband's driving up. He's leaving Connecticut this morning. He drove until he couldn't drive anymore and stopped in Connecticut. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing him tomorrow after I get down from Katahdin. Unfortunately, summiting Katahdin is not the end. You'll still have to walk the five and a half miles back down the mountain. <laughs> um, all right, that is it for now. 21 mile day is my goal. And uh, I'm just enjoying this beautiful weather. Two days in a row of no rain. I have dry towels. It's nice. so that I can do another 10 miles tonight and then just do up and down Katahdin tomorrow. Oh, I hope it works out. Right now I'm on Rainbow Ledges. I just called Sophia. Oh. And it's supposed to be the last place. Oh my God, I cannot stay up there. It's so cold. spot. Is it this way? Or is it this way? This way. Two and a half miles left of the 100 mile wilderness. I'll be at Abel Bridge and Baxter State Park. And I will get food. 
hot food and a coffee. Very excited. I know that there were 43 people lined up this morning to get the 12 spots of the birches. So we are walking these last 10 miles into the Katahdin Stream campground where you start to sum for the summit to Baxter uh, Peak. And Tall Man is coming. And E.T. and I and maybe Dandelion, if she didn't get a spot, but is doing this walk too and is there. Um, we're going to go to a hotel room and come back early in the morning and get back in to hike, I guess. That's the plan. I don't know if that's a good plan, but that's the plan. I didn't hear any that the radio was today. It was pretty wild. Look at you, Maine. You two two know how to build a bridge over a waterway. You've been tricking us all this time. of trail these last 10 miles before you get to the summit trail hunt trail it's your gift for hiking that lunch trail after a little night hiking on some bougie bog boards we emerge from the woods and i find my husband at katahdin stream campground where he's waiting to take E.T. and I to Millinocket, where Dandelion and her husband are already waiting. But before we leave the park, a moose comes and blocks our exit, hangs out with us for a few minutes, and it's the only moose we see in Maine. What a perfect ending to a long day.